Brazil and FIFA have been in a tug-of-war over World Cup preparations for years. Two years ago, the Federation's right-hand man, Jérôme Valk, said the country needed a kick up the backside to be ready in time. He's apologized since, but delays have continued. Earlier this year, FIFA threatened to take Curitiba off the list of host cities as construction for its stadium was staggeringly late. So we are at 200 kilometers per hour. We are far, far beyond the normal limit speed you can have on the road. And it will be the case until uh, the 12th of June. We have 111 days, so it's not much. And that's why, again, uh, a lot of work to do, a lot of things to do, and we are working full speed. Falca stepped up the pressure, but hurdles with the 12 host cities remain. Sao Paulo Stadium is still unfinished. Deadly accidents and delays left FIFA less than impressed with Brazil. So it's happening uh, and it's a lesson and definitely uh, we will uh, act differently and we will have to find a different way of um, working uh, for Russia 2018, where we have also 12 cities. And it looks like discontent goes both ways. Ahead of the World Cup, protesters voiced their anger towards FIFA. We want true improvements, social improvements, not just stadiums and FIFA invading Brazil and doing all the bad things it's doing. FIFA's ticket prices, ranging from roughly 20 to 2,000 euros, were not to everyone's tastes either. FIFA is mostly interested in finances. Unfortunately, today the world creates these kinds of things. Football has become a sport for the elite, even though it's a sport for the people. And with these absurd prices, FIFA has taken away the possibility for regular people to go to the stadium, and all because their interests are primarily financial. The Olympic Games are set to be held in Rio in 2016. Relations between the Olympics Committee and Brazil are likely to be just as charged.